Good day and welcome you all to today's trending stories right here on Ghana Talks Radio. I answer to the name of Hema Chemode. Multiple U.S. states have sued TikTok, alleging it harms children's mental health. The lawsuit claims TikTok's addictive features, such as sleep disrupting alerts and beauty filters, contribute to the harm. TikTok denies the allegations, calling them inaccurate and misleading. The platform faces a potential U.S. ban unless its Chinese parent company, ByteDance, agrees to sell. Regulators have also targeted Facebook and Instagram over mental health concerns. TikTok has introduced tools to limit screen time and control content, but the lawsuit questions their effectiveness. The lawsuit seeks to bar TikTok from harmful conduct and impose financial penalties. Social media giant TikTok facing allegations tonight that it's as addictive and dangerous as cigarettes. For young people, the TikTok platform is like digital nicotine. 13 states in the District of Columbia are taking TikTok to court, alleging the dopamine-inducing algorithm hooks young users into endless scrolling, causing anxiety, depression, and body dysmorphia. TikTok has engaged in a pattern practice of deception, of lies, it has addicted an entire generation of young people and teens. The lawsuit also alleges the app at times promotes harmful and deadly behavior, from subway surfing to stealing cars. The lawsuits also allege TikTok doesn't do enough to stop children from scrolling into mental health problems. They lose track of time, that is by design. Alleging further that the app's beauty filters create unreal standards and that around the clock notifications lead to sleep loss. The states saying tools like a 60 minute limit aren't effective. Why in New York State's view was that not enough? The tools that they have oftentimes are difficult, they're hidden. Parents cannot um, activate those tools. TikTok blasted the claims as inaccurate and misleading, adding that the lawsuits are disappointing after they tried to work with the states for over two years. In August, the federal government sued TikTok for what they allege are widespread violations of children's privacy laws, allegations TikTok denies. President Biden signed a bill earlier this year that could ban TikTok in the U.S. if its Chinese owner ByteDance. Furthermore, Ghanaian gospel musician Great Ampon criticized anti-Galamse protesters questioning their motives. He accused them of being influenced by external forces to undermine the current government. The protests aim to highlight environmental damage from illegal mining and secure the release of detained democracy hub protesters. Ampon questioned the timing two months before the December 2024 elections, suggesting they were paid. He criticized the protest location, Accra, Instead of areas directly affected by Galamse, Ampon labeled the demonstration as nonsense and an attempt to discredit the government. He also commented on labor unions' plan strike and the state of democracy in Ghana. Nine democracy had protesters were granted bill, with another appeal and the review. To end with today's story, Apostle Francis Samuako Atta, father of Lord Parliament Chapel International, prophesied that Nana Ama McBrown will become Ghana's vice president. He stated that McBrown's resilience and divine favor will lead her to great heights. The pastor emphasized that no amount of opposition can alter her destiny. McBrown is a celebrated Ghanaian actress and media personality. She has suggested that women should marry after 35 and men after 40 for a stable relationship. This prophecy has excited her fans, affirming her status as a beloved figure in Ghanaian culture. Apostle Atta's statement highlights McBrown's potential leadership role in Ghana's future. Mm-hmm. 
Ah, ah, next second lady. Yeah, 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 president. I want to come. I first one. Vice. Vice. Yeah. Vice president. And then it's so. to me. That woman can. And she can. She has the love of the people. Uh, I one, say she one can. Of, one of the people was sustaining the brand for They say she decades. can. Yes, very, very. On yeah. Sunday. Oh, Nami Din, or the Nipa de Pier, or the Nipa de Pier, or the Nipa de Pier, Fiena, or the Nipa de Pier, a Difo, and Conana Mobama Mopredo. And this is where we draw the curtains for GTR social bus. You want to take us into your pockets by downloading the GTR app on all downloading platforms and also log on to our website www.ganatalksradio.com for more detailed information. I answered to the name of Himachi Mude.